In March 2020, in response to the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic and orders from the Los Angeles County Department of Health, the University of California, Los Angeles went to remote operations. This meant that all operations at the School of Nursing went remote, including our classes. Because very few faculty and staff are allowed to come on campus, and because you can't visit, we wanted to provide you with a brief tour of our school, one of the top-ranked schools in the country during these historic and challenging times. Hello, I am Linda Sarna, the Dean of the School of Nursing. Welcome. If you come through our front door, you would see some of the beautiful works of art displayed throughout the school that inspire us every day. The school occupies five floors of the factor building. Here is our main conference room, where the executive management team and other groups meet. It includes a portrait of the first dean of the School of Nursing, Lulu Wolf Hassenplug. My assistant, Lisa Chang, welcomes visitors to my dean's office. I am fortunate to have a view of the Botanical Garden, which is right across the street of the Factor Building. Mark Hoven is our recruiter. He is often the first person that applicants for our pre-licensure, advanced practice, and PhD programs meet when they consider applying to the School of Nursing. Holly Devon is our Associate Dean for Research. Faculty meet with her and our grants team as they develop research proposals for funding. The school is 19th in NIH-funded research. Simulation involves the use of technologically advanced mannequins staged in common, realistic clinical events to allow all levels of nursing students a safe opportunity to apply knowledge, skills, and attitudes before practicing in the clinical setting. The simulation environment is both a learning and testing setting with the goal of training safe practitioners. Our labs have been especially important during the pandemic when experiences in some clinical settings have been limited. Now students come to the lab using social distancing, face coverings, and eye shields. All of us do a symptom check before we come on campus. The artwork by Greg Chadwick is displayed throughout the building, including a portrait of Royce Hall, where the first offices of the School of Nursing were located. During the 70th anniversary of the School of Nursing, just last year in 2019, we use the walls of the factory building to display our history. We have original uniforms, photos of classes of students, as well as photos describing our history. We also display posters and photographs of our research on walls of science. This is the research office of Dr. Paul Macy, one of several researchers with multiple funded projects. In his current research, he studies the relationship between the brain and physical and psychological stresses in people with obstructive sleep apnea. Dr. Nancy Pike is in her faculty office. This is a typical office for our Academic Senate faculty. Her award-winning research addresses biobehavioral and health outcomes in infants, children, and adolescents with congenital heart disease. The school has laboratory space for our basic science researchers on the sixth floor. This is Dr. Nalo Hamilton's research lab where she studies biological variables affecting breast cancer growth and development, especially among African American women. Some researchers have been allowed back on campus with stringent protocols to reduce risk of COVID-19 transmission. Many of our large classes are taught in the Mosley Auditorium on the A level. Displayed on the walls are portraits of the former deans of the School of Nursing. Usually the auditorium is brimming with students. This is one of our smaller seminar rooms. This is one of our medium-sized classrooms, housing approximately 30 students. 
In part of our efforts to go green, we recycle and we encourage our staff, faculty, and students to use the stairs. Finally, we have a coffee room that allows all of us to take a break and catch up on current events and personal milestones. We hope that you can come again when we can welcome you in person. Thank you.